John Weiss here. I was recently asked about my espresso puck prep methodology. I thought the easiest way to demonstrate this would be with a short video. So we're going to be using a uh, rubber grinder here. And one of my idiosyncrasies is that I like to prepare my pucks in the basket but outside of the portafilter. So in this case I've removed the spring clip from the portafilter so that the baskets just slide in and out freely. So let's go ahead and uh, of course I use WDT so I have uh, a little funnel for my basket. Now I've got some commercial ones, you know, and while more attractive, frankly I find them clumsier to operate. So I'm still pretty happy with these little cut down yogurt cups. So we'll go ahead and tear the basket. Grind some And probably the most labor intensive thing for me is actually getting the dose correct. So here I've a little too much in there. So here we're uh, we're at 15.03 grams. No, actually 15.00. So I think that's close enough for government work. All right. So now I'm going to stir the grinds. Um, these days I'm using a cut down key, key cap puller. Just snip the wires at the bottom, and that's that's it. A couple of seconds, no big deal. Um, I've got, uh, I don't really do a whole lot of tapping or anything. If you want to do some tapping, that's okay. If for some reason you don't think that you're getting a level bed from this, uh, I know there's a lot of these distribution tools that have gained popularity lately. I am not really fond of them. I don't think there's any really good way to adjust the height. So I just use my tamper. I'll set it on there and I will do a very light mutation, just the weight of the tamper. So now I have sort of a, a nice, very flat pre-tamp bed that I can go ahead and do my tamp. And that's it. Um, and uh, we can go ahead and pull a shot now. Okay, we're going to pull this shot on a Spaziale Vivaldi. Pardon my terrible videography skills here. But uh, you can see it's pouring pretty nicely. It's very typical of my pores. There's no spattering. And this is a, um, a rotary pump espresso machine. I've got no pre infusion set up. So the puck has just simply been blasted with 9 bar of pressure and yet the puck prep is good enough that I get a lovely pour pretty much every time. 